Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic and OK Care for Next 2020 here. And welcome back to the 2020 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. And then this is part six. Now, I'm, I've not done this in like probably like about two weeks, I believe. But I might just want to say that, um, yeah, we're finally back and um, the, the Windows XP train is back in action. Choo choo. But anyway, let's just log in. All right. All right, wait for the welcome screen to show up, and let's log in. There it is. Okay, KO DVDs. Do, 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 do. Okay, yep. I love that Windows XP startup sound. It's so nostalgic. So nostalgic. All right. I think, um, now that it's May, we're finally going to get ready to eventually, like, take a look at the Microsoft Money Tutorials, you know, the Microsoft Money 2004 Tutorials, let's just, let's go in. We're going to go through each one, but, um, instead of doing only one for each part, we're going to do two of them, although there's only, like, about, it's not really an even number total. Um, we're still saying we'll still do two each day. Well, not each day for each part, I meant. So, um... So, yeah, here we are back at my desktop with this cute background of OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes. Yep, it's cute. Very cute. But I just want to say, um... I might work on putting in custom sounds for this with this background shown in it. Let me just... I clicked on the start button, but we need to go into my computer. I just... I mean, I think the face that Red Action is making in this picture, I mean, it could be a smile, it could be a, an angry face, I don't know. <laughs> it could be either way. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Come on, baby. I think it looks like it's pressed. Click on my computer. My computer. Alright. Let's see if we go. Alright. Going into my computer. All right, here we go. Let's go into my computer. I clicked on it. Uh, excuse me. I don't want this computer to go slow. Oh. Yes, I clicked on it. Whoa. All right. Gonna wait for the my computer window to open. Why am I talking like that? <laughs> okay. While I wait for this computer to get to the my computer screen, I'm gonna pause the recording and I'm gonna try to take care of something. So, viewers, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I just had to do something quickly in my room. I had to make my bed, but anyway, we're finally back and now. It's time to go into, uh, excuse me, I did not know I was going to do that. As I was saying, we're going to go into Microsoft Money, we're going to, not the actual program, but we're going to go into the C drive, find the Microsoft Money folder, then click on Media, and then EV Help, and then um, we're going to first go, in, so, for the files for the videos with the, the letter F on them, because of the icon. Z 02MT means manage your taxes. 04 means enter check and deposits. Number 9 is lifetime, 09LI is lifetime planner. 10CB is create a budget. 
Number 11 RI, I don't know what that is. No, number 12 BA, it's balance an account to a paper statement. Um, number 13 is probably like invest a transaction, I don't know. Number 14 is reduce your debts. Number 15 is categorize transactions. 18 is a, a backup files to a floppy disk of Microsoft money. And number 19 OL is bank online with money. I don't understand number 11 though because I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, um, that'll be probably found out on part number 8 probably. But anyway, um, since this is part 6 of the walkthrough, anyway we're going to go into 02MT. And that means, this means manage your taxes. Now, instead of doing this on like this, we're going to do it in full window. We're also going to need to turn off the light too. This is just like what we did with the, with the Windows XP tour at the beginning of this walkthrough, of this version of... Yeah, 2020 version. Also, as you can see, um... Oh, crap. I can't see the shirt that I was showing you. Well, uh, let's turn the light back on, and then I'll show you the shirt before I turn the light back off. And as you can see... Oh, look. Shirt cam. Woo, woo. Okay, KO. Let's be here. Shirt is hanging. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> cute shirt because that's that's what I got from Redbubble. Anyway, let's, let's turn this. Oh, for, did I almost say the word I was going to say? Oh, man. Well, I almost said it. Anyway, I got the light turned back off and now it's time to watch the manager taxes tutorial on Microsoft money. So let's do it. Let's just let's click this back button, whatever it's called. The introduction. OK, let's, let's let's do it. Three, two, one, play. Our taxes are going to be a snap now that we use Microsoft Money. How's that? Well, let's take a look at our Money homepage. We can switch the homepage view to show just our tax information. Then at tax time, Money uses all of our financial information to help us file our taxes. So what do we do to get ready? Money can help us find any deductions we're eligible for. We just have to answer a few questions. Oh, I see. Money tells us about available deductions, medical expenses, donations, and home mortgage interest. Then it lets us know which deductions we might be able to take at tax time. Money can even help us track these deductions throughout the year. Here, Money can demonstrate the tax implications of selling stocks. And I bet these links on the homepage take us to the MSN Money website, where we can keep up to date on late-breaking tax news and also reference informative tax articles. They sure do. And whenever we want to find out how much we owe in taxes, we can go to the tax estimator where money takes all our financial information, including our income and our deductions, and gives us a good sense of what our taxes will be. I see that we fill in some of these numbers, but money fills in the rest for us. What if we want to see the figures that money's using to do this estimate? It's easy. If we go to the tax line manager, we can review the tax line categories and their totals. Just click a category and then click go to details. Now we can see all the individual entries that made up that tax line total. Looks like we can even open an individual entry. I sure yep. would like to know how much to withhold, so we don't pay too much or too little come tax time. Well, take a look at this. If we go to the tax withholding estimator, we can find out if we are over or under withholding. I see. We just choose whether we want to get a refund or owe taxes, and how much we want it to be. And then we enter our paycheck information. I see. Me too. Here, it looks like we're supposed to enter our allowances. And now, here's our result. How did money figure it so exactly? It calculated the extra amount we need to withhold on top of the normal required withholdings. So we'll come out just right. All I have to do is take this figure into my payroll department and have them adjust the withholding. If we prefer, we can set up a monthly bill to help us save more by April 15th, or update our budget to reflect an IRS refund. Okay. Our options for April 15th seem pretty straightforward. They are. With money, we'll be ready to use a tax program, file our taxes by hand, 
or turn our information over to an accountant. We can even file our taxes on the web. You're right, Amy. Money will definitely make it easier to get our taxes ready this year. Why is it closing? Okay, there we go. Also, April 15th, tax day. Yeah, that's how it usually has been, but um, this year, because of this freaking coronavirus pandemic, I don't want to keep mentioning it. I just want to say that um, tax day is going to be July 15th this year. But um, is it going to be the only year that July 15th is going to be tax day? I, I just certainly hope so. I, hope, I, hope it, I certainly hope it's the only year to have tax day on July, okay? It better be the only year that it's going to be in July. Seriously. I mean it. But anyway, we got past the managed taxes one, and now we're going to be, uh, take a look at 04EC. And this one, this one is called Enter Checks and Deposits. Now, um, this one, um, I'm not sure what to say about it, but I just want to say this is going to be a very interesting tutorial. Now, for viewers watching this, I have uploaded the Microsoft Money 2004 tutorials, like, one by one on one single video. Well, not all of them on one single video, but, um, I uploaded them all separately with recorded on either tablet or phone, which I use. But anyway, I just want to say that these are pretty nostalgic, and it takes you back. It makes you feel old, but, I'm, you know I'm not old. I'm not, I'm not an older. I'm like a... I'm between a teen and an adult, too, you know. Seriously, that's that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's start this tutorial. Say, this kind of looks like a checkbook. Here's a register up here. That's the idea. And down here are the forms for withdrawals, deposits, and transfers. So I fill them out like a check or deposit slip. Exactly. There's a tab for each kind of transaction. Let's enter those checks from our shopping trip today, and you'll see how it works. I assume I start by clicking the tab for the kind of transaction I'm entering? Right. We're entering this first check for our new easy chair, so that's a withdrawal. Click New to activate the form. First, you type the check number. Okay. I see that money puts in today's date. Now, pay to Tasmanian Traders. We got a good Tas deal on this purchase. Tasmanian Traders. Three sixty-seven. Done. Should I enter anything in this category box? You don't have to. But if we categorize our expenses and income, we'll be able to track where our money goes. Don't you mean I get it. you didn't Money summarizes our expenses using these categories. This should give us a better picture of our finances. It should. Especially with the reports we can create. This also helps if we do a budget, lifetime plan, or if we need an expense summary for taxes. So I click the arrow, scroll through the list, and click the category I want. This would be household furnishings. As soon as you click enter, you're done, and it's in the register. Money does the subtraction for me. We don't have to worry about math mistakes anymore. Now we're ready for the next one, that bill to the telephone company. Money has a real shortcut here. What's that? See this common withdrawals button? Yeah. Click it, and then point to upcoming bills. When we first set up money, we specified our regular bills. Those now appear in this list. Click the phone company on the list. Look, money fills in most of the check information for me. Nailed I it. just have to put in the exact amount. Again, we click enter, and it shows up in the register. So, once we start using money checks, we can just type in our regular payments like this, and then print the checks. What about deposits? We put in that tax refund check yesterday. Click the deposit tab. In the from field, say where the check came from, that is, the county. Hey, 25 bucks for us. Hmm. How do we categorize this? Oh, other income, state and local tax refund. You need to change the date, because you made the deposit yesterday. Good idea. Here's a neat trick. Click this little arrow, and then click the date. Cool. I'll say what it was for. Every little bit helps. We have one more check to enter. Yes, my new skis. You know, you can type directly into the check register if you want. It's not winter anymore, well, dude. up here, you turn off the checkbook form. Now, you can click New, or just click in the blank line. Okay, it looks like money fills in the check number and date automatically. So I just type 
Alpine Ski Center right in here. Hey, look at this. Money made a good guess for the category. Now type the check amount, and you're done. So with money, we can keep accurate records of our checking account. And our other accounts, too. We can use this same process to show account activity in our savings, brokerage, and even our credit card accounts. Then, money can summarize this information to help us track our expenses, organize our taxes, and plan our finances. All right, before I close this, I just want to say, weren't these tutorials first made when uh, Microsoft Money 2002 came out? I believe it was because, first of all, I want to say, it said 2001 at the bottom of the, the screen on the Microsoft Money page. I just want to say, though, um, who needs skis? Like, it's not, it's not winter anymore. It's, it's friggin' spring. We're gonna have summer very soon. I mean, it's May, but I just want to say, oh, hey, that rhymed. <laughs> but anyway... What do you mean, I, I know you said you don't have to, but you're supposed to be like Jeff, you know, like, I think have to. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to say, that this is a good tutorial, not nevertheless. But I just want to say, um, yeah, I have no other words, let's get out of here. But anyway, um, we're going to end this part now, but, um, to end off this part, um, for the next part, we'll be talking about using the Lifetime Planner and my favorite one, creating a budget. So yeah, that's the thing. Alright, let's just shut down the computer now. Oh wait, I still need to turn the light back on. Ah, oh, crap. Well, let's just turn it off for a minute. And get ready to turn the light back on because I'm scared. All right, got the light. I got the light turned back on, and now let's get this computer ready to shut down. Oh well, that's gonna conclude part six of the 2020 edition of the walkthrough of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. Stay tuned next time for part number seven. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic and OK Kio Fanatic 2020 saying. This video was sponsored by the two OK Kio DVDs. The first one is TKO and the second one is the full first season. Get them right now. And by the way, I'm signing off. Peace out. Yay. Yeah.